Hello Pisces, how's it going? Welcome to June 2020 mid-monthly love reading. Um, I hope all of you are doing well. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising. And we're going to head and get started with the Devil card here, which also represents Capricorn. And this is your future card. What is coming up here? So what is coming up here, Spirit, for Pisces? Um, I feel like this is this heated love that you have for someone. And uh, it's still very much in your heart. And that you are hoping that this love can be uh, recovered or begin again. I, I'm getting a feeling that there might be some talk because you will have a lot of swords here. Uh, or, um, yeah, talk, communication regarding getting back together. But I feel like you're also in this position here with the devil that you are literally fed up with the lack of results uh, of all this effort of trying to keep things in communication or keep things going here. That you've been through a lot of setbacks and reversals, Pisces. Some of you may decide to completely withdraw or give up. Because you feel, you, you really, I feel like some of you really have this deep love. And you really want things to come back together here. Let's look at the King of Pentacles. This position is change. Okay, what conditions will change? And we've got the King of Pentacles here. So, um... I feel like there could be a delay here. Like, maybe you're expecting someone to text message you, call you, email you, stop by, some kind of communication again with these swords. But through the King of Pentacles that, you know, you're really, you're hoping for this. You're expecting it, like I saw in the Devil card. This is just confirming it. You want these things to change. You want this person to reach out or this person wants you to reach out to them. But there might be times that you are going to be annoyed. You might feel as though this person is being thoughtless, inconsiderate, even irresponsible. I do feel though through the month of June, Pisces, you will get some unexpected validation. Or maybe you're even expecting it, but it hasn't come through yet. But you're going to get validation. Um, we're going to move here now into the Six of Pentacles, which is in the causes position. This is what will cause change. And again, it's still connecting to the King of Pentacles. Now, some of you Pisces may have relationships with Capricorn or an earth sign in general, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Taurus. Some of you might have relationships with air signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. But it may, I'm not leaving my readings just to those signs. This can resonate with many of you or it might not resonate with many of you and it doesn't matter what signs are involved but this six of pentacles is telling me what will cause change I, the the message i'm getting here is still hoping to hear from this person that you love hoping that there will be change hoping that this person will come back to you hoping that uh, uh, or they're hoping that you will return. Um, I just, I feel like there's a new program 
that or a new plan that you need to venture on. But because I feel the lesson here is the plan or what will cause the change is what will cause, let's say, the new plans is your old plans have fallen through. They're not coming through for you. Now, this also could be some of you who are engaged in relationships and you're just disheartened about the fact that maybe you're doing all the work and they're not, or maybe they're working and you're not. But there's a money issue here too. And I feel like somebody on this side of the relationship, somebody in the relationship is, is the one that's giving, 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 and the other one is taking, taking, taking. The King of Swords um, is in the change type position, which means the way things will change. And here the King of Swords... Um, I feel that for some of you, you will completely let go and others, you will just unite. It will just happen. And I also see new romance or new potential in love for a lot of you, Pisces. Someone who is charming, which you are, Pisces. Uh, comforting, which you can be, Pisces. Even somebody who has money. That might give you comfort because you need somebody in your life that can um, that can give you money. Also, too, I'm feeling like some of you might be in an argument or a disarray with someone over money because maybe one of you is spending too much money. And the other one feels like they're saving you all the time. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, um, again, this is a card, the King of Swords, about letting go of the past because the past is causing, remembering the past and holding on to the past and trying to communicate about the past is causing more pain. Now, you might want to check with Aquarius because I feel like I had the King of Swords in Aquarius. And, and again, this could be somebody, too, that you've been spending a lot of money who you love very much on a legal situation. Or maybe this person's in trouble with the law enforcement. Maybe this person is the law enforcement. Maybe this person is an attorney or a doctor or, or somebody professional that... Uh, I feel like some of you Pisces have had your head and your heart wrapped up in. This could represent Aquarius. And as I mentioned, check with the Aquarius reading also. Um, and this could have something to do with a Libra or a Gemini because it's an air sign. But either way, I'm picking up something that uh, it could, something that's legal. Now, whether that be a divorce, whether that be a separation, or whether that just be somebody that you love that's in trouble with the law, it can also be any kind of lawsuit. Also, too, some of you Pisces might be thinking about moving in with someone. Maybe it be short-lived or long-lived because you feel that you need to save money or cut down your expenses. Um... Or you're wishing that you could find love. Love that someone who has money. Someone who can help you financially. Because you've, you're, you're, in a, you're in a rut here. Um, let's look at the two of swords here. This is your needs. What you need to understand or do. Don't bark, babe. Um, I just feel like that some of you are just... Leaving this space of 
things aren't happening for me and making things happen. So I want to say, when I look at the Two of Swords in this position of needs, that you have the potential to start another romance. You have a potential to start a new romance. You have potential to iron things out in your love life. Um, I don't know. This here, this King of Swords, some of you might even be dealing with narcissistic behavior. And they're using their charming, comforting personality to try to reel you in on something. But let me get back to the Two of Swords. I keep getting called back to the King of Swords. So the Two of Swords here, um, I just feel like you can just let go messages that were here earlier in your reading. And I really feel that you have the potential to put the plans together to really be motivated and find new love here. Um, I feel with the Two of Swords, the past is on its way out. I feel a new element, uh, which the Two of Swords or Swords in general represent the air element. But I do feel that you are going to emerge and that you will make your old plans, your old ways of doing things or believing obsolete. And um, spiritually, everything in the universe follows a natural rhythm and order. Just like day follows night. And harvest follows. Okay, so I feel this is your time for harvest. And I feel when the time is right spiritually, you will have a new spirit of enthusiasm. About love. About your love life. However, which way you want to go with this. The Page of Swords, the outcome. Um, this is future wants and outcomes. I, I feel that you will find. I love the Page of Swords. You will find what you were looking for. You will find what you need. What you want. I feel even for the ones who are at struggle right now, you will come to some conclusion or agreement. And things will end well. We got the Page of Swords. Things will end well. Some of you, I'm not going to lie, will, will want or will walk away from a painful relationship. You'll either want to walk away from it or you want to forget about it. But here we've got the devil and the king of pentacles, which is telling me this won't be easy to do. This won't be easy to do. So the conclusion here is I feel for many of you, you will find what you're looking for. Or at least come to an agreement with what you're already involved with. And it will end well. However, I do feel for some of you who are in these relationships that are really causing more pain than happiness. You will either want to walk away from them or just... You want to let go and forget this painful experience. However, for some of you, like I said, it's not going to be easy. Because Mercury is going to be retrograde and we have six planets retrograde in June. So it's not going to be as easy as you think it will be. But some of you do, Pisces, have the strength to move forward. Or whoever's listening in on this video.
that might be interested in a Pisces or involved in a Pisces or has a Pisces moon uh, and rising besides the sun. Okay, I wish all of you so much love and blessings and a great June.